Good morning. Did you ever play Cowboys and Indians when you were a kid? Did you ever build a fort and like we did, and out of cardboard, limbs, whatever, and then you'd have the little Indians running around and you'd protect yourself inside and they had their little rubber bows and arrows and all that kind of thing. We did that a lot. Well, I want you to listen to what Scripture says. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. That's what you built. Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing, listen to this, every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience which your obedience, when your obedience is fulfilled. Now, what does that mean? Okay, I was just talking to a guy, and I was picking up a piece of equipment, and he's telling me a story. And he said, I had a friend, and uh, this particular friend, his, uh, had a big company, because this was a company and everything. He said he had a big company, lots of money, all this the equipment, everything. And he said his wife was actually funneling off money continuously, and um bankrupted him and she divorced him well he was so bitter and and so lost without his resources that he took this trip to hawaii got in his car and he was going to drive off the cliff and the reason cliff the reason being that he could still claim insurance and his kids could get an inheritance because if he shot himself uh then usually most policies void it. and so he said that's what i'm going to do but guess what? The cliff he had chosen to drive off of had a church service going on right there. And that changed his life. And he learned a principle out of that. When a thought comes, you don't let it sit. Because we don't wrestle against people. Not his wife. Not somebody that's done you wrong. Not somebody at work. All of these things that happen to us that make us think we have physical enemies. He said, you're warring against invisible enemies. Therefore, when that thought comes in my mind, I'm going to grab it up quickly. I'm going to bring it up under Christ, the death on the cross, that I have no rights. And I'm going to surrender it to God. And in the midst of that surrender and that obedience, I get liberty and I get freedom. And I'm no longer a prisoner. Now, I knew this other guy. He had a uh, sweeper. He uh, had the 285 contract in Atlanta, and that's a big deal. And a guy uh, stole a sweeper. And uh, he lost the contract. He was furious, bitter, because that's, that's lots of money invested and a lot of money lost. But he had to make a decision. This guy gloated over the fact that he didn't have to go to jail for that. And he really fought that. But then he finally came to this conclusion. Am I going to give this person that much power over me? Or, I'm, or, or am I going to give this temptation to do this over to Christ, surrender my rights to have had a good contract, and let God bless me in another way? He chose to do that. And God blessed him in another way. I don't know how God's going to bless you. But every single person in the world has somebody that's doing them wrong. Especially as a Christian. You can have somebody that's after you. The devil's continuously going to be after you. Jesus said in this world you're going to have tribulation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. But we've got to bring these things. Now we build strongholds ourselves. We allow the devil to build them in our lives. Of procrastination. We don't read our Bible. We put it off of uh, justification. Well, I don't really have to forgive that guy because, you know, everybody has their rights and all this. None of that's biblical. Die, just like Christ did on the cross with him, co-crucified with him, and you'll see that you pull down that stronghold and take that thought captive. Give it to God and press on free. God bless you. Have a great day.